You've upgraded. So today we're going to cover something that's a little bit, let's say controversial, but really not that controversial, only because if you know anything about physics, pretty clear winner. All right? It's going to be boom. See what I did there? Superman versus Batman. The age-old question, right? By age-old, I mean like a decade or two. Uh, who would win, Superman or Batman, especially with the Superman vs. Batman movie coming out? Uh, there are some questions. People, they're pro-Batman, they're pro-Superman. Let, let's be honest, Superman would kill him if he killed people. His, his greatest weakness is his, uh, his niceness. He doesn't want to kill anybody. So, <clears throat> I brought along some evidence today. Boom. What would happen if someone who is able to lift 200 quintillion tons with one hand, power the sun, or my favorite, punch dimensions apart, were to punch you? That's right. What would happen if Superman were to punch you? Like, full on, oh, punch you. I'm not trying to kill you, right? Let's, let's follow this. In this theory, no matter how strong Superman is, there is one universal law of physics that he can't break, that nothing with mass can achieve, traveling the speed of light. So we will put him 1% below that 299,792,458 meter per second limit at 99% the speed of light. So you are unfortunately about to fight the Man of Steel, who in this case will not be restraining himself. Here we go. See that? The speed of light. Can't happen. Nothing with mass can achieve the speed of light. So, let's put him at 99.9%. .9%. Moving on. If his fist has an average mass of 300 grams and it's moving at 99% the speed of light, it would have a total energy of about 190 quadrillion joules, which is equivalent to 45 megatons of TNT, or over 2,800 times more powerful than the nuclear bomb dropped on Hiroshima. Throwing just one punch at near the speed of light with that much energy would burn around 45 trillion calories, which is equivalent to almost 82 billion Big Macs. Now you have one of the largest bombs ever, condensed into a fist, and aimed at your face. What happens when he releases that punch? Well, this is when it gets incredibly cool. But what we can see from the fist's perspective, since it's going 296 million meters per second, is that time is practically frozen. All the particles in the air, the oxygen, the nitrogen, are just suspended in time. Superman's hand is hitting them with so much energy that it creates nuclear fusion. Gamma rays explode and creates an explosion that the Earth has never seen. A giant fireball engulfs the surrounding area and a blast wave shoots out, shattering windows, structures, and rips trees out of the ground. There might be fictional characters with more powerful punches, but at this point, when it comes to you still existing, it doesn't matter. Superman wouldn't just knock the wind out of you, oh no, he would knock the atoms out of you. Have we learned anything today? That's right. You know, and then, and then there are people who say, um, now, what about... Kryptonite. Batman's gonna use kryptonite. Okay, that's fine. Now, if something is traveling at you from 20 feet away, at 99.9% .9 the speed of light, a speed that you wouldn't even be able to see, even if kryptonite, you had a huge chunk, man-sized chunk of kryptonite, right, um, and you're already moving in that direction, it starts to take effect 10, 20, 30 feet away. Uh, yeah, it's not gonna matter. You're moving so fast that even just you slowing, just not having any motion, is gonna still plow through something, disintegrate you, blast you into pieces. So, who would win, Batman or Superman? Well, Superman would clearly win. Uh, but his problem is that he won't kill anybody. He's too nice. Which would allow for Batman to win because Superman would kind of allow himself to be killed. If that makes any sense. So, yeah, that's, that's nerd news this week. There's uh, that video in full. You can look at it down in the links down here. Underneath us here. And um, also, shoot me a comment. Tell me what you think. Batman versus Superman. Who do you think would win? Is there anything I hadn't thought of? maybe, that would prove that Superman would lose, or Batman would lose, or they would mutually win. I don't know. There's lots of different scenarios out there, but pretty sure I'm right on this one. Superman would... Poof! I've got this guy. I've got to bring it up to you because you can't really see from there. Check this out. On my phone, right? Boom. That, my friends, is an Ewok attacking a stormtrooper.